somewhere else I might have said or rubbished positive thinking. <laughs> because uh, people were talking about a spiritual dimension through positive thinking, such a thing is not possible. But by thinking right, can you change small things about your life? For sure, isn't it? Should I say it? You know it, isn't it so? Yes or no? By thinking right, can't you change many things about your life around you? You definitely can. So changing your personality is like changing your clothes. If you change the way you dress, Will people perceive you little differently? Yes or no? Yes or no? For sure, isn't it? So changing your personality is as simple as that, that you change your clothing, people perceive you differently. Have you noticed? From one kind of dress to another kind you change your clothing, suddenly people perceive you differently, isn't it? So, you can definitely do that by using your thought. But if you're thinking of attaining to touching the ultimate nature through your thought, it's a waste of time because thought will make it up. Personality is anyway made up, so you can make it up another way. Truth is not made up, so if you make it, then you're lying to yourself. So, <laughs> life is in many different dimensions. Every time you face one, don't confound yourself. There are different aspects to your life, isn't it? There is a body, you need to conduct it in a certain way. If I say physical is very limited, does it mean to say, cut up your body and throw it out? No. When I say the psychological process is nonsense, it can't get you anywhere, that is because you are asking a spiritual question. But socially, in terms of personality, personality is a social thing, isn't it? Socially, your psychological structure is very important, isn't it? No? Is it not important? It's very important. So these are different aspects of your life. If you're trying to concoct ultimate nature in your mind, you're wasting your life. So, the process of living here, you can make simple very complicated, you can make complicated simplified. What's your goal? What is complex, should we simplify it? What is simple, simple we should make it very complex. What's your goal? Because life is a brief happening. You want to have maxi maximum access to life in this brief period of time that you're here, isn't it? This is a fundamental human aspiration that a human being basically wants the largest slice of life. That's all it is. Maybe somebody thinks by having money it will come, somebody thinks by having family it will come, somebody thinks by having power it will come. But everybody is trying to just have a larger slice of life, isn't it so? Larger slice of life will come to you only if you have excess. Somebody thinks if I have lot of money I will find access to the world. Somebody thinks if I have power I'll find access to the world. Somebody thinks, if I have love, I'll find access to the world. But essentially, you're trying to find access to the world, isn't it? You want to know, you want to experience life 
bigger than the way it is right now. Either you can do it roundabout ways or you can do it in a straightforward manner. If you cut out everything else, recently I was being interviewed by some… a popular a radio channel in America, I was on phone. Then this anchor asked, uh, Sadhguru, is there one line message that you can give them? Then I said, if you just want one line, no bull, just living. What is the one line which describes spiritual process means just this, no bull, just life, that's all. Right now there's a cloud of bullshit hanging around you that you cannot access anything. <laughs> if you cut out all that and you're directly in touch with life, that's spiritual process. <laughs> if you didn't get anything else, just get this, no bull just life.